Welcome to my apiary. So this is the profile I'm going to use. It's a half inch round over. And I decided to do some test cuts to set the bit. Now this, uh, this first cut that I did, I felt the bit was a bit high because that, that reveal is pretty heavy and, and uh, not, you know, not dainty enough for a small box. So I raised the bit and I did this one. And so that reveal is a little bit nicer. And what's going to work for me is that's pretty well going to line up with my glue joint. So this reveal is uh, going to line up with the glue joint. And so that'll really help, help hide that. That's nice when you, you work in, you know, inch, half inch, quarter inch, that kind of thing. Sometimes things line up like that for you because that's a, that's a half inch round over and that's a half inch strip I cut off of there. Very nice. Okay, I've got it all sanded down and smooth, and now I'm going to route. I've already done this end just as a test. Route the end grain first, of course. Wear my ear protection.
There we go. A little bit of sanding on the top, on this profile, and apply some finish, and we're done with this project. I would say it turned out quite well. Actually, two other things that I want to do. I keep thinking of things I want to do. I need a lid, so I'm just going to cut a piece of plywood. I have some nice Baltic birch plywood that will fit into these recesses. I'll screw it in with some very small screws because they can go through the other side pretty easily. Uh, I want to apply some, some little feet here, uh, very thin feet, not to make it sit too high. And uh, of course, inscriptions. We haven't decided what we're going to do yet for inscriptions. It'll either be a laser engrave or a brass plaque that's enga engraved. Quite often in my woodworking, I'm finding that these small clamps are my go-to and you can see this has definitely had its share of use glue on it everything one of the things this 
uh, clamp is good for, I have actually a number of these, I've maybe got four or six of them, is if you're assembling beehive frames and you get an end bar that splits or something, you can glue that and uh, just clamp it with this little clamp. They're great, they're easy to manage, they move well, they're uh, easy to handle with one hand. So I wanted more of those, guess what? No longer available. Uh, this one is the same, but a longer bar, okay? So that is, is often, I, I really need to get more of those because I only have, I think, two of these, and that's the clamp of choice for so many projects as well. So I ordered these. This is the replacement, and it seems okay. It should work fine. That's the shorter version. They're not quite as, uh, they're, they're beefier here. And, and maybe people were stressing those clamps and, and they're breaking because these are beefier here and here. But one of the nice things about this clamp is that it's not real beefy there. You can actually get it into a small space if you need to. This is quite, quite thin here. So that's really nice. It's one of the nicest things about them. Well, not so much anymore. Overall, they're really the same length uh, with the, the grip part. And I found, uh, I found a deal on Amazon uh, for uh, two packs of four. So I bought two packs of four of these. There's the second pack that I've kind of opened already. And so I'm very happy. Now I have more of these smaller ones. I will be looking for the longer ones as well. This is what they call a six inch clamp. I think a six inch clamp will clamp a six inch piece. That will clamp a six and three quarter inch piece. And that will clamp a little more than six and three quarter. So, you know, then we have the longer one which is uh, probably, uh, they might call that a 12 inch clamp. I might call it a 13 inch clamp, you know? So that's the one I need to get a few more of those now um, because quite often I want more than six and three quarter. Uh, for example, my, my urn here, I was clamping the side pieces on and uh, at one point I couldn't clamp uh, with this clamp, but that was because on the cherry one, I hadn't trimmed one of the side pieces and it was just too wide to clamp. Had I trimmed that, then, then I could have used that small clamp. I forgot that. And when I was kind of, I got it all put together before I routed the detail, uh, I was looking at that and I thought, why is this as asymmetrical? It sticks over more on that side than this. And, and I remember, oh yeah, I didn't trim that, so I just ran it through the table saw upside down. So that's, uh, that's clamps. And, uh, you know, just like, just like, uh, you know, fishing tackle and bacon, you can have enough clamps, but you can't have too many. Uh, so you gotta have lots of clamps. You, sometimes you see my clamp uh, stash here in the shop and you might think, oh, that's a lot of clamps. You get in the middle of a glue up, it's not that many clamps. And I'm often wanting for more. And sometimes more specific clamps. And this is kind of my go-to uh, clamp. And again, I don't know what they call this as far as size. It's, it's pretty good size. Uh, it's the second large. I have some really long ones. I have four really, really long ones like this. Uh, I like the Irwin Quick Grips. They're very easy to use. They're not... They're kind of mid-priced. They're not the most expensive. The problem with them is the mechanism. When you when you clamp something tight, after enough use, they end up they won't hold tight anymore. I've got one around here that won't hold tight, and uh, I should throw it in the garbage. I grab it way too often. So anyway, uh, often you know this is this is probably one of the tightest clamps I have save for uh, like a pipe clamp, uh, this will clamp 600 pounds of uh, pressure in the jaws. And you can see on the packaging that this clamp that I just bought, 
that's rated for 140 pounds. Uh, so it really depends on what you're doing. And, you know, if you're clamping a small, if you're clamping a, a beehive frame, an end bar or something, you can do it like this, but it's just a big, ugly clamp for that. Uh, nice feature of these is they're spreader clamps. You take that, take that head off, move it to this end, so then you can pull things apart. So anyway, that's, that's clamps. There's certainly a lot. So here's another one. Uh, this is another Irwin quick grip. Quick grip is not, it's just a clamp, right? It's just a, a one-handed clamp of different sizes. So this is, you can see the jaw is different and the bar is smaller. Um, I think this is about a 250 pound or 300 pound clamp. It also has the reversible spreader feature on it. Uh, so, so that's a really good clamp. Sometimes uh, these pads on, on these big ones, you can take, take those off. And it actually has a lock here. I don't know, to keep it from pivoting. See how it doesn't pivot now? And now it'll pivot a little bit. That's a gimmick I never pay attention to. Uh, this is the same as that one. It's just not as long. So that's as long as that one is. So again, lots of clamps, but you know, quite often you run out of clamps. So it's just the way it goes. One of the last things to do on this project is to cut the plywood for the base. And that is uh, six inches, and that is 10 and 10 and 5 16 so I'll cut that 10 and 3 eighths. And that'll be big enough. And we'll fit that in, we'll put some little screws in it. I'll put some feet on it. I'll probably put the feet on after I put the finish on though. So this material I'm gonna use is Baltic birch, it's called. It comes in a strange, five foot by five foot square sheet. But it's really, really nice material. And uh, it's, it's just perfect for this application. Uh, the thing about Baltic birch plywood, you can't see it as much in a thin sheet like this, but even at quarter inch, this is one, two, three, four, five laminations, five veneers in there. And you get three quarter and there's, you know, 10 or 15 <laughs> veneers. Uh, it's quite expensive, but you know, that's the, the high-end plywood. And this is a brand new sheet, so I have to cut into this and cut six inches off of there. I'm not even going to use all of that, but you have to start somewhere, right?
I want to sneak up on the fit on these and I laid down a blue towel uh, so just so that I don't get the tops messy since they're pretty much finished and ready for ready for wood finish but this is well that's gonna fit perfectly widthwise yeah I just want to sneak up on a on a length cut. I'll measure that again. That is ten and three eighths. Ten and three eighths would be tight. Ten and seventeen six and seven sixteenths. See that box isn't quite square. Assuming my my panel here is square, but oh well, you'll notice if you turn it over. Now this one has some squeeze out here that I need to take care of, so that'll sit down in there. I'm just easing these corners. prefer if this panel were shy of this then I can put the feet on here uh, you know I can put the feet on there anyway and even though this might be a little proud it'll still be okay Yeah, I think that's good. Now, as far as holding it in there, I was planning on some little screws, but I don't have much to screw to. That's a quarter inch. And uh, the next piece is a quarter. If I hit the end of the panel, I've only got a quarter inch wide area here uh, where I can hit that, that side panel. I don't want to end up with a screw sticking outside. I'm going to ponder that. 